What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan, and today starts our first episode of a new series where we break down maps of the game and we look at routes and difficulty. So without further ado, here is the Michigan maps. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please help support the channel by liking, subscribing, commenting, and please share the video as well. So let's get into this. Roll the tape. Throughout my videos and in my streams as well, I kind of rant a little bit about the slow paced driving gameplay. And I think I do this because it creates an analysis view of all the maps that I play and I've played them a couple times. So I just want to let everybody know for the Route Runner series, this is going to be a very informal yet it's going to have great information. It's not going to be the most exciting, but I believe it's going to help drivers with progress in the game. So before we jump into our first map, which is the Black River map, I just need to break down some information and tell you guys first that this, all this data is based upon an unmodded playthrough with all the in-game trucks provided by the SnowRunner developers. Okay, let's talk about the syllabus here. We're going to go jump in and look at the overall outlook for Michigan, and then we're going to jump in and do the areas for concern and the data analysis. And then after that, we're going to do the recommended routes. So without further ado, I don't want to hold anybody up because I'm trying to make this video kind of short, let's jump into the Black River map. To quickly go over the overall outlook for Michigan before we jump into our areas of concern in our analysis portion of the video, the first thing is for the overall outlook, they're very easy maps to moderate difficulty. And because of this, they are the best maps to try different trucks. And I believe this, um, the starter trucks in the game, and the trucks you find in Michigan, they all suit the area very well and you can definitely get jobs done but there are some that you might find that you enjoy a little bit more and they're a little bit more capable and this is the areas to try out different trucks just to see what you want to take to different maps as workhorse vehicles and the last thing is they're great learning maps and they're fun as well so all right let's jump into the areas of concern in the data analysis portion Okay, so welcome to our data analysis portion and their areas of concern parts of the video. This, this map right here, what you're looking at is Black River. It's the first map in Michigan. And uh, right now you're seeing these color codes on the screen with easy, moderate, and hard up in your right hand corner. I'm just gonna go in here and break these down real quick and just show you why I color coded them as, as I did. And then we'll talk about the hard modes on this map. And you can see there's not a lot. So first off, the green area is an area of low, low tipping risk, light terrain or pavement, which is generally safe to travel on. Mostly they're just paved roads or light terrain. The yellow parts, they're areas of moderate risk, moderate risk of tipping, medium terrain difficulty, but they can be managed with proper gear manipulation, vehicle positioning, and just attention to the vehicle's balance. So they could be uneven and they could be moderate um, mud or snow, but they're not too hard to get through. You just have to pay attention to the physics of the game. And then lastly, these, these hard parts, the red areas, they're areas of high risk for tipping and moderate to super hard terrain. These areas should be avoided if possible, but they can be traversed with caution, correct machinery, and just attention to detail. So these are the really hard parts. And because of I don't want to make this video too long, we're going to dive in and talk about these red parts. So right here from the start, this is where you jump in the CK1500. You go down and unlock the MH9500 right here, and then you go and take that all the way to the garage. And that completes your tutorial part of the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. After then, uh, you will start, you know, discovering the map. And what I like to do is I like to unlock all the watchtowers, upgrades, and then I uh, activate all the tasks in the region. So let's start with down here. This is the area I've in my gearbox manipulation video, the Western Star 6900 twin steer. You saw it blazing through here because of its large tires, power, weight, and such. But with the starting portion trucks of the game, this is going to be a really hard area to traverse. There's a, a truck you pull out that's back here stuck. It's going to be pretty hard. So I would just wait on you doing this area or wait on um, going through this area with a vehicle unless you have, you know, upgraded suspension, upgraded tires, or an off-road truck that has upgrades as well. And there's also a watchtower here, but I believe your scout can get through here. There are winch points, so just look out for those. 
This little area here, there's a CK1500 truck stuck here. There are some stumps to get a hold of your winch, but just be careful because I've always gotten stuck going through here in the beginning parts of the game. I actually went that went the back way, attached to him in the Paystar um, stock and pulled him out this way back to this green area. But yeah, up here, this is not a super hard area, but it's, it's hard enough to get yourself stuck with pulling a trailer. If you're going traversing around this, there's a drop off point here. And this mud is just really thick, so I just wanted to highlight this and just tell you this is a cause for concern as well. Up here is the Black River. You've seen this in my videos. Um, whenever I talk about the base statistics in my truck reviews, you'll see me crossing this. It's really hard to cross. This is the Black River crossing. There's a lot of mud here, water, and there are winch points. So just make sure you have the correct machinery, like I said, to cross this, an upgraded truck, and just winch yourself across. And if your truck sets low, make sure you have a snorkel as well. Down here, this little S-shaped curve um, is a is an area that there is a fuel carrier back here that you need to pull out and back. I think to the fuel station. I'm not I'm not sure. I'd have to check that again. But these areas are really thick as well, and you can get stuck. I've gotten stuck plenty of times doing this. Um, just be close to winch points to just kind of like pull yourself through. But if you have an upgraded truck, like I said, you can definitely pull yourself through that area. Down here is an area I used for my Zix 605R review. There's a deep pit here that I, I normally don't traverse this area because I usually cut through. As you can see, I, I, I skip this because if I'm going to the warehouse, I'm just going to go through this area. It's a lot faster and a lot smoother, but this area is pretty deep. Just be prepared. It also was in my gearbox manipulation video. And I, I went through this mud pit in the Freightliner 114SD. And yeah, you just need correct machinery and the right proper gear manipulation to get through. And just be aware for winch points as well. Back here, there's a truck stuck. I believe it's a Kodiak. I'm not sure. But you're supposed to pull it out. And there are winch points in here. But this is a really, really hard area to traverse. And there's a bank here. So it's just kind of hard. So just be aware that... You know, this is going to take you some time in the beginning parts of the game. And guys, that is it for the Black River portion. I'm going to jump over to the map and I'm going to show you the recommended routes uh, that I would take in the starting portion of this game. So let's jump to it. For our recommended routes for Black River, you're probably looking at this map thinking, what in the world am I looking at? But let me just break this down. It'll take me maybe two minutes to break this down. There's not many routes I usually take, but the ones I do take will save you the most time, I believe, getting across the map to different drop-offs and pickup locations. All right, first off, let's start here at the uh, garage. And if we're gonna try to make our way across the Black River as fast as possible to get to, I guess, the town storage, uh, the lumber mill, or even to Smithfield Dam, you're just gonna wanna come out here, go down this road. It's usually light or it's paved. And then you'll go across the, the bridge that you built in the first part of the tutorial parts of the game, make this right, and then you'll just follow it up right to the town and you can continue on it's very light terrain through here there's might be a little bit of mud down here but not too much and then you can just swing over and out through the smithfield dam gate and then if you're at the town storage and you would like to get here or across and back over to this side of the map you also can take this route that goes downhill and you can cross the little bit of this river here it's not deep at all you can cross it very easily and then across the bridge that you build and you either can this road forks here you can take this way and swing up onto this road or you can go down this way and it comes up to uh, the area close to the fuel station as well. So if we're back at the garage and we wanna go all the way up here to the factory, I usually would just come out here and follow this road up. There's some rocks here, jump on this road and then follow this road up. It's mostly all pavement with a little bit of light terrain here but it's really nothing that needs to concern you. And yeah, it's a pretty smooth route. There's a huge trailer that you can pull out of here. And this route's mostly always just easy. So you just have to worry about colliding with things um, along the way. There might be some rocks on the road, but that's not really that big of a concern. And then lastly, if you want to make it over to this warehouse, which you have to go quite frequently, you just go right out of the garage, come around here. If you do not want to go through this big mud pit, you can skirt the sides and then make this left-hand turn. It jumps up into this terrain, comes back down, and then onto the lighter road to the warehouse as well. So this is just the fastest routes that I've seen. 
um, that I've personally taken. You can take other routes that I've highlighted in yellow, but the red routes I would probably just get away from unless you have a beefy truck to get through or you just feel confident. So that is the recommended routes, guys. We're going to jump now to Smithfield Dam and do our areas of concern and analysis. Okay, so here is the areas of concern and analysis portion for the Smithfield Dam. This map is kind of a shock because it's not as easy as Black River and it's a lot, there's a lot more terrain involved with mountainous uh, areas and different uh, changing terrain elevations that are in this map. So let's jump in here. We're going to start from the garage and I'll just go through a little bit of all these hard areas and then we'll jump to the recommended routes for the Smithfield Dam. So right here is just this little um, pond. It's kind. Of, there's a river running down through this mountain right here and it stops at this pond. You've seen me in my truck reviews go through this. It dips down really fast. If you have a snorkel, you can go through it. There's winch points. Not really a huge concern, but I needed to put it in there as well. Um, right here, you've seen this in my GMC MH95 video, um, my Brigadier video. A lot of my American truck videos, I've, I've used this patch because this area, there's a huge pit that you dive down into. And I'm trying to test traction, grip, and such. And then you come up over that turn and you descend down into this valley where it's just a big mud pit. And you've seen me in my truck videos use this area. Um, it is really deep and pulling cargo through it is uh, it's kind of hard unless you have the proper uh, machine. So up here is a slanting terrain that you can tip over, which is why I color coded it red up here in these portions. Uh, coming down this hill, you definitely have cause for concern with tipping. Make sure you might make sure to attach your winch to your right left hand side to a tree if you're coming down, or just try to get to the lower parts down by the trees to save you. And then this portion down here is just all, all mud. It's really thick. Um, just try to be close to winch points and you should be okay. Just keep it in low ranges as well. All right, let's move a little bit south. This is the crossing, the dam crossing. That uh, There's rocks here. There's an American flag sitting here. It's pretty sweet. And then uh, this is the portion I think is the hardest because um, I've actually tipped over into here. And you'll see why there's a, a little rock sticking up that you have to either go left or right. And if you make the left and you swing too far left, you will actually slide off the rock. And then whenever you get to here, uh, getting ready to crest onto the shore, uh, it's kind of uneven and I've tipped my trucks over. In my GMC MH95 video, you've seen me tip over right there. And yeah, and then just climbing up is kind of hard too as well. And then this right here is the, the entrance to the Smithfield Dam Hill. I use this on my truck reviews for grip and power. Uh, there's a lot of rocks. And right here, there's a slanted, a slanted tre like trench thing, and you can get yourself tipped over in there. It's not too bad, but just be aware of it. Um, I wanted to throw it in there. It can be avoided by going around it as well. If you go down through here, if you make this left and not go up the hill, this is all bog. Um, all these red parts are going to be boggy, and they're, it's really thick down in here. Um, but you, the good thing is you have all these these trees that you can winch to and pull yourself through. But just be aware that you're going to have issues with this. And all these yellow areas, this is going to be like rising terrain. As you can see, it's a very mountainous map. So just be aware of your vehicle positioning and its balance when you're going through these yellow areas. Um, this, I need to mention this, this trail. Uh, I actually do take this trail when I'm going to Drummond Island from Smithville Dam. But I make sure I have a good truck to do it. Um, because I just don't want to travel all the way up this, this route here that it just takes a lot longer. As you can see, it's a lot windier. So, all right. So this part right here is just a little trench, a uh, little river crossing. It's kind of hard. It's kind of rough to get through, but I think if you're in the low ranges and you find winch points, you should be okay. Now let's jump up here to this portion. And this part right here is a tipping point. When you come around this corner, you'll see uh, you're almost on cliff face when you come out and I've definitely tipped over there a couple times and rolled my truck down the hill. So just be concerned about that as well. And I highlighted this in big red because this is a really, really tough spot. I know there's a, an upgrade down here, I believe, and getting down here with a larger truck because it is very skinny and it's kind of on a cliff side. Uh, it's definitely an area for concern. So just be careful coming down into here and make sure you're, if you feel like you're going to tip over into the bridge, just make sure you throw a winch out. 
down here is the river crossing and it's not too bad. Just make sure you're in the low ranges and it makes sure you have uh, good tires as well. And then this portion is just a tiny little mud pit. It's not really too bad. There are winch points that you can get through or you can just go around it. There's a lot of space right there. And then lastly, this portion down here is just a huge bog. Honestly, I do not take this route um, just because it, it kind of takes forever. You can take it to get to Island Lake. Um, sometimes I normally take this route coming down here. I'll take my chances on this cliff to come down here and go to the Island Lake Gateway. Um, but if I know I have a really strong truck to get through here in a timely fashion, I will go through here. But when you're in Smithfield, damn, you're around level 10, maybe level 8, and you don't have all the upgrades or tire upgrades to just plow through this. So just be aware there are winch points. You might have to downshift to low or uh, do a truck rescue as well. So Guys, that is the rec that is the areas for concern and analysis portion. We're now going to jump to the game and do the recommended routes for Smithfield Dam. So for our recommended routes, here's the Smithfield Dam map again. I have my blue little markers down to show you the recommended routes. Pretty standard. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. Uh, if you want to get from the trailer store or the garage area to the service hub, this is all paved way. It's also a paved way down to the Black River Gateway to the fuel station. And then onward, it turns into a off-road path. Um, and just be aware of that tipping point I, I told you about earlier. You can tip your truck over after that. Um, just be careful coming down here and across the river. Uh, you might have to throw it into the, the low ranges or just use a truck that has really good machinery and you should be able to push through. The, the mud actually shallows out. Uh, after you cross and come through here and then you should be pretty much free there's that little mud pit here but you can skirt around it or winch through it as well and then it just takes you to the island lake gateway okay so let's go back to the garage so if you want to go to the farm or the log station this is all paved um, paths that come down here it turns into just a dirt road and that dirt road if you make that right hand turn it's just boggy area through here uh, there are winch points along the way or you can just kind of skirt around these it might take you a little bit. It is kind of hard, a little bit harder of a path, but just make sure you have an upgraded truck or you use your low ranges and such. After you get to the farm, the mud kind of shallows out a little bit as well. And then you can move up here to the log station and these paths aren't that hard. Also, if you're at the farm and you want to come down to the drilling site, instead of coming down here and going through this area, because this right here is a tipping point that I've tipped and rolled my trucks many times, especially my wide ones, because these paths are kind of narrow as well. So what I did was I, I made, there's a path that goes between a set of trees here and you can just go through, join the trail and then move through here and then down. And it's not too hard. Just be careful for tipping points as well, because terrain is starting to get a little bit more difficult as we move through these maps. And then lastly, if you want to get to the, all the way to the other side of the map, a Drummond Island, you can go down here. This is mostly paved and go all the way across and it's mo all this stuff is mostly paved it turns the dirt road here and there but it's pretty easy to drive through here it's just going to take some time because you are moving up terrain and it's just a very windy path as well and then if you want to go to the quarry you can just dip down this path um, this is a very steep hill so just be careful going down there as well and then when you get to the drummond island gateway you can go to drummond island and i did not highlight the path where the Smithfield Dam Hill is because I think if you do not have confidence in your driving skill or the trucks that you have on hand, it's probably not a good route and you might just want to take the long way around. And then you can always pick up a trailer and refuel yourself here when you get there. So this is the Smithfield Dam map, the recommended routes. We're now going to jump over to Island Lake and do the areas of concern and analysis. Okay, this is our areas of concern and data analysis portion for the Island Lake map on Michigan. And honestly, if you're looking at this map right now, you're probably seeing a whole lot of yellow. And I did this because most of this map is a bog and it's not really super tough mud, but it, it just might take you longer to get places because of that mud. But I didn't feel like it was something that was too hard for me at the time because my trucks were getting leveled up. So that's why I coded them that way. But we're gonna cover these small little red portions here. 
and then we're going to jump into the recommended routes. So this should be really short. So over here, uh, this is mostly a scout route. Um, I know there is a, a task up here that you take a bigger truck, but this is just a, a big mud pit here. You can winch it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can skirt around it as well. It's not that big of a deal, but I just wanted to have that in there just for your information. And then next, um, down here by the trailer store, something I noticed, this is kind of where I base my truck operations out of because I would just get my fuel here and then I would just kind of depart and go off and do stuff. But anytime I got to this point, uh, coming around this corner, there's just a big thick mud pit here before I hit the trailer store. It's not too bad. Honestly, there's winch points everywhere. There's um, logs laying in the mud, so you can definitely get through it. Or if you have upgraded trucks, they just get slowed down a tiny bit. It's not that big of a deal. And then also back here by the warehouse, I noticed there's um, a big mud strip here that kind of bogs you down. And then over here, uh, when I was driving through multiple times, I was getting very, very slowed down here. So these are just the bigger mud pits that I want to show you here. Other than that, it might take you a while to get places, but these green areas that you're looking at right now, they're going to be really, really fast and they're kind of light roads. So that's kind of like where I go to, to get to all these spots. But anyway, we'll jump into that. I'm going to, we're going to talk about the recommended routes right now for Island Lake. Okay. So this is the Island Lake portion and recommended routes. Um, like I said before, I was talking about those green areas when we looked at our analysis portion and I'm just going to walk through some quick ways to get places. And what you're seeing on the screen is my blue dots. And these are the ways that I take to get the places because I, I feel like they are the fastest to get somewhere. So if we're at the trailer store where I base my operations out of, um, you just want, if you say, if you want to come to the log station or up here, up to the north parts of the map, I usually just come up here, make this right. These roads aren't too bad. You might have to downshift to low gears, but usually if you're, if you have off-road tires at this point, which you probably do, uh, you can probably just throw in high gear and you can get along here pretty well, but they're not going to hold you down too bad. There are winch points around here, so not too big of a concern. And there's not a lot of uh, rising terrain in this area as well. Maybe up here, but you shouldn't really worry about it too much. Anyway, you just follow these dots and come along this way to the log station. And if you continue on, you can go to the next log station as well. And you'll see these north roads here that they go through. And that's kind of like where I use to, to get north. Sometimes I'll come down this green path, which we showed on our analysis portion to get here faster and then come straight up. And this is a little bit muddy here. It's not too bad. And then also these are just muddy paths that take you to the Drummond Island gateway. They're not too bad. I would not be worried about these at all. And this path to the abandoned drilling site, you'll have some contracts that go to these drilling sites, but I wouldn't be worried about them. They're all just yellow paths. And then lastly, if you want to come from the Smithfield Dam map and you just want to drive through to Drummond Island, and this is what I've done. I've come to Island Lake first before I went to Drummond Island. So this is the way I took from the Smithfield Dam gateway. I just drove down this dirt path. It's super easy. And I just came around here, came down by the sawmill and then drove straight through. And this is all pretty much just dirt path. It's not really hard you're not going to get stuck anywhere to my knowledge and then just come up here to the what's called the Drummond Island Gateway. So that is Island Lake recommended routes. We're now going to jump to the last map of Michigan, which is Drummond Island and do our analysis portion. Okay, so Drummond Island is one of the smaller maps in the game and it doesn't really show here because I have it blown up uh, just to give you a better image, but it is one of the smaller maps in the game. Island Lake is also a weird shaped map, but it's not that big. So here's Drummond Island. Let's do our areas of concern and analysis. All right, so starting from the gateway where we come through uh, from the Island Lake gateway, uh, there's just a small mud pit right here. And then you also can tip coming up onto this path because this is rising terrain. I've done it before, especially hauling uh, logs. I've got to this point and I've tipped my whole log truck over. So that's why I threw that in there. Um, this path right here, you have to scout it. And I think there's something in here for a scout um, task. And it's just a big mud pit. I was in here with the Lodestar and it was getting bogged down. But there are winch points to pull you through. So that's why I threw this one in here as well. 
Over here, there's a big mud pit right before you get over to unlocking or discovering the P16. And then after you discover the P16, of course, it's just going to plow through this because the P16 has amazing tires. So <laughs> after you get the P16, this is not a concern, but going through here to get it, I just want to tell you this is going to be a little bit of a mud pit here. Okay, so let's move north. And over here, there's going to be a task where you have to pull a Scout 800 out of here. And these roads, I marked these red because they're really narrow. And over here, I've tipped my truck over trying to pull this vehicle out of this area. So yeah, this is just a tough area to get out and through. I used the Lodestar um, because I had so much power to pull him through, but these are very, very narrow paths. Okay, so over here, this is mountainous terrain too as well. You're kind of dipping up and down. So down here, you're dipping down into this water area. This is a big mud pit here. And then up through these areas, I marked these red just because um, they're close to the cliff and they're kind of hard to get through. They're just zigzagging as well. And also, there is a task over here that's one of my least favorite where you have to pick up, uh, I think it's like oil barrels out of the, the river. So not really a fun task. Anyways, let's continue over here, this is just a mud pit um, that's along this strip here when that comes down to this map. It's very easy over here, but as soon as you hit this mud pit, it's definitely deep. There are winch points, but by this time, you should be fully upgraded with your tires from doing the rest of the map. So it shouldn't be that big of a concern as well. And then lastly, this is probably going to be your hardest part of Drummond Island, I think, because there are just a bunch of tipping points over here, especially when you grab these big cargo um, pieces over here for a contract. And I would just be concerned because when you're, this is all rising and dipping terrain and it's very rocky and you can tip your truck over doing that as well. And then after you get through that or when you're coming through, there is a big mud pit here as well. So just be aware of those things. So anyways, guys, this is the Drummond Island areas of concern and analysis portion we just went over. We're now going to jump into the game and check out the recommended routes. Being that Drummond Island isn't a big map, there just aren't enough roads to have a bunch of different paths here. So you'll pretty much see from these dots right now that I don't have a lot of routes because these little routes that are off the, these main routes you're looking at are just for tasks and contracts, and they're not really that long. They're pre, it's a very, very small map. So these I'm going to give you just a gist of my recommended routes that I take. So if we're from the Island Lake Gateway, I usually come through here. There's a patch of trees. I know you can dip down through here. I normally don't because I just fly through uh, these trees. There's just enough space to get through. And then I jump back on that path. I come through here, the log station and back and join this path again. And then I, instead of dipping down into this path, you can kind of traverse through, just be aware of these stumps. They're going to be everywhere. Stumps are not your friend in this game. Um, you definitely can get hung up on them and they take a bunch of time. And then just be careful coming up over onto this path, like I said in our analysis portion, because it, it can tip your truck over. So what I would do is it just kind of hit this um, straight on and then turn into it. And then I'd come down here over this bridge. This is mostly all light terrain to moderate terrain. It's not going to be too bad for you. And then I come up here to the fuel station and then just follow this path basically all the way through. And this is a good staging part for trucks um, because you can come down here and grab gas and then also you can just you know hit the gateway and then go this way to do other things as well. So if you want to go to the Smithfield Dam Gateway, and this is where the Smithfield Dam Gateway is on the hill, if you want to go that way, you can go up here. This is mostly all paved. It's very easy, windy paths, but very easy. And then there's a task and a contract up here that you can do, and also those contracts or those tasks I talked about back here. You can just go this way. Um, these are light roads, and then they turn to paved roads and back to light roads again all the way till you get to here. The last route, and I highlighted this because a very important vehicle sits down here, which is the P-16. It's a wonderful vehicle. It's kind of one of my favorites in the game. So this is just, I would say, lighter to moderate paths that you go through until you hit this mud pit, and then it's kind of hard to get through, especially if you're in a scout. So just make sure that you have a capable vehicle to go discover this vehicle. Once you do, the stock tires on the P-16 can just get through this with ease. So 
This is the recommended routes, and this concludes our uh, route runner portion for the Michigan maps. If anybody needs me to elaborate on any of these areas, uh, my Discord information will be in the description of the video, and you also can uh, come join my streams, and I will stop what I'm doing and jump in here and break all this down for you. I would love to help in any way. So uh, until next time, God bless and stay upright.